Hi all, I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys some exciting news for 2024. I'm so glad to share that you guys, we are expecting baby number two. Really excited to share this with you guys. It's been some time, I'm officially five months. So I am finally at a state where I want to share and I'm um, ready to share with everybody. We are ready to share with everybody where we are in our pregnancy journal. Um, I have been getting a lot of questions about how my pregnancy journey has been. How has it been from the first pregnancy to this pregnancy? What are some changes, pregnancy symptoms, everything, um, health and wellness, and some um, great questions about you know my goals for this pregnancy. Um, so I'm really excited to share with you guys some of that information. So definitely, oh, the pregnancy that I had with our daughter, Leia, was in 2017. I was pregnant with our daughter. Um, and yeah, that, that experience was a lot different. Um, so we were pregnant with her. And honestly, you guys, I was younger, so I was about 27 years old. Um, my body was a lot different um, than where I am today. But um, I just remember from that pregnancy, um, a lot of the symptoms that I had was um, nausea, um, a lot of for vomiting, like immediately. There was no, like vomiting wasn't, oh, three months, four months down the line or a couple, two months. It was like within weeks. Um, I experienced morning sickness very early with that pregnancy. Um, my body looked a lot different. I did not show as early um, in that pregnancy. I showed a lot later with our daughter. So about six months, you can actually, I was really showing the belly and everything with our daughter, um, completely different. Um, so she just, it, it just, it just all was a lot different. <laughs> um, we had been wanting to have another baby for maybe a, a little bit of time. Um, once you hit that five year mark, if you have an older child, say your kid is about five going on six or is six, you kind of get into this place of like, I feel good. I'm comfortable. I got, you know, babysitting and, you know, intact. Like we got a whole system. Grandma's doing it. We got uncles. <laughs> like, literally like it is is a system that you have designed over the last couple of years so when we started thinking about wanting to plan for another baby we were really excited but I started to feel like the clock is ticking like we need to figure out something so that we can get started on this and get started now because I'm getting very comfortable and so that was one of the places one of the hardest things that we had to have a real conversation about is what it would look like so we kind of just let it take its course um, we knew that in 2023 we really wanted to actively start trying so that's when we really did and literally about the time that we were really trying a little bit more and a little bit you know frequent <laughs> um it had, you know it happened um and to say when it happened it was actually not the way that i expected it to so in the upcoming videos that you guys will see for gender reveal you'll actually see my true real raw reactions to a lot of things um because in the beginning I was taking the pregnancy test a little too early. And so because I was taking the pregnancy test so early, I was just like, it kept coming back negative. So I was like, okay, Lord, like, I guess this is just not your timing right now. I guess we just need to wait. Um, you know, just I'm just going to wait on the Lord right at this point. So um, I guess it was just too early. So maybe about a week and a half went by. And my husband was like, I think you should take the test one more time. And I was just like, no, we took it like three times. I'm not going to take it again because I just don't want to feel that disappointment anymore. So um, little did he, <laughs> little did I know, um, he has a clock on me like he always knows. So um, this time I went and I took the pregnancy test and he had bought like, y'all, he had bought like five to six pregnancy tests because he was just like, I really feel like you're actually pregnant this time and I just really want you to just take the test and I was just like nah so anyways took the test and it came back positive so I guess it was just I was too anxious and I was really excited um so I needed to just cool out for a little bit and um we found out that we were having our second baby so really excited my my expression my like emotion I was just like is this serious like are you sure because we took it so many times like I don't know yeah so anyways yes y'all so we took it, found out that we were pregnant, so we were really excited. So again, going back to how you carry your 
your pregnancy your weight is a lot different um again from the first one i gave you guys a little bit of in um a little bit of information about how i carried for lay in the first one to how i cared for this one this one i showed so fast like i showed three months you can see a little belly and it was like whoa um four months it was like whoa and now five months it's like baby okay like belly on belly all right so definitely can see a lot of belly in this pregnancy um and honestly i think that what i'm doing differently in this pregnancy is just enjoying it a little bit better um i'm not really being hard on myself about my weight i'm not being hard on myself about um the things that i eat i am being more conscious about what i'm um what i'm eating and trying to be careful so as we're talking about that my pregnancy symptoms changed a lot um so this is what um was the difference between leia my first daughter pregnancy and this baby's pregnancy was that um i did have a lot of symptoms of you know vomiting and nausea but it came a lot later so it wasn't as early like with my first daughter i threw up immediately like the second month like girl it was a wrap okay third month it was a wrap and i was just nauseous the whole time this one took a little bit more time for the nausea to kick in and vomiting to kick in um so i was still eating very normal very regular um still having my eggs still having my yogurt still having my fruits and my salads and it was just nothing um about three months in y'all whoo chow um baby okay lots of vomiting um but also more so just food aversions which was different because with leia i could eat a lot of foods um so my body was you know like I, w I could eat pizza i could eat eggs i loved eggs with leia i loved pizza like i just it wasn't bad you know i could eat this pregnancy is totally different um i am super cautious on the amount of food that i eat i am super like i have to think about it before i eat it like you ever stare at something you have to like really think about is this worth eating or not like that's that's how that's where i'm at like is this worth eating because if it ain't worth eating, i don't want it okay because i don't want to vomit so it's that type of relationship with food um so it's a lot harder um some of the foods that i am right now five months that i cannot that i'm not eating is i can't have eggs um not a pizza person um sugars has to be like kind of like give me something homemade oatmeal yogurt and chocolate type of thing but very small doses and not a lot um with lay i could eat cookies i could eat brownies <laughs> i could eat but with this pregnancy it is completely different um and I'm very selective on what I eat. So even smoothies, I love smoothies, but I can't finish a whole smoothie. Coffee, I cannot have coffee, like, um, which is the hardest thing. I try to have a little bit of coffee and I can stomach it, but I can't drink a whole thing. The best kind of coffee that I have been having actually that I can keep down is surprisingly Starbucks coffee. Um, I try to stay away from Starbucks. Um, I'll do a Dunkin. We can do Dunkin. We're like a Dunkin family. We'll do Dunkin. Um, but Starbucks, for whatever reason, their iced coffee is the only thing that I can actually really stomach. Um, maybe some local mom and pops iced coffees as well, but um really their iced coffee seems to be the one that i buy um anything else just it's too sweet it's too sugary um and it just triggers nausea okay so pregnancy symptoms has completely changed as well i the ginger chews i've tried ginger i've tried tea i've tried everything um and it just ain't it so i just at this point just feel like holistically i'm just going to have to try to maybe do some more natural things that's going to help me with it um i heard that there are some vitamins that also helps as well with um some of the nausea i haven't tried any of it but um they say that that does help um so if you get some b12 in you and things like that that might help out with your nausea but y'all 
I'm just, I'm like, mm -mm. so the best thing that I do when I am nauseous is I kind of just take a pause. I will drink something, nothing acidic, um, because it makes me more nauseous and actually triggers the vomiting. So, um, some things that actually helped was, you know, taking some water with some natural fruits. I'm drinking that, trying to kind of like reverse the taste, whatever I'm feeling that's making me nauseous will help out. Um, so no fruit punch no things you guys it is like serious okay pregnancy symptoms can go on for hours as far as what i can and what i cannot have so um just some things to just kind of give you guys some information some stuff doesn't work but if you have any advice or anything that has helped you and has helped out with the nausea and vomiting please put it in the comments below i would love to kind of see and look into it a little bit more natural things that we can do um just you know all advice is good <laughs> another change that has actually happened within this pregnancy as well that kind of correlates to the symptoms is my tooth y'all ladies take care of yourself um this is something that i am definitely doing in this pregnancy more than what i've done with in the first pregnancy um i didn't really focus on me um i focused just i was just like baby focused everything was baby 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 and everything was getting everything prepared but i didn't really um focus on myself my hospital bag was like my husband's clothes so it was his sweatpants and his t-shirt <laughs> my little undergarments and things like that um you know some lotion but honey there was no cute hair there was no makeup involved there was none of that and I don't even know if I'll have time to do that this time but still just like the self-care of it and just thinking about me was not an option so and it wasn't anybody else it was just really just me not really putting myself first as well so for this pregnancy I, my goal is to really pour into me pour into um you know my self-care pour into my body care pour into my femininity during this pregnancy and really keep up with that and i would have to say within five months i have been doing that a lot so first of all the first thing i would say is nice lukewarm baths not too hot um we don't want nobody fainting but nice warm baths with some bath bombs and a candle and some praise and worship music or just some music y'all who that just is everything okay that is my peace that's my happiness so pouring into myself a little bit more within that has been really helpful um another thing is i want to get more skincare items to kind of do and also some clothes that's going to be fitting to where i am in this pregnancy so that is something that i am pouring into a little bit more as opposed to the first one and taking care of my body so the first thing that happened within the first couple of three months of me being pregnant was i had to get a root canal <laughs> So I don't know if anybody has ever had to have a situation like that, but because of the constant vomiting that I was having, um, it triggered the, and also I had already had a cavity, but it just got worse from not, um, I guess not getting it done as quickly as I should have, but also the amount of vomiting that I was doing triggered a root canal. I was so freaked out about this because the fact that I had to get a root canal so early in the pregnancy, I was so scared. Um, it definitely had to be a special, specialized place. So I had to go somewhere where they specialized in root canals. Um, and that's all they did. Um, they did a phenomenal job. Um, I did not feel anything. I was calm. I was at peace. They checked on me every single time. Um, the medicine was all good. All stuff that they could use during the pregnancy. Um, doctor approved everything. So just want to say that. But, um, definitely something to think about so if you are you know making if you're if you have some things to get done before you're pregnant or you know um you're about to be pregnant or planning definitely get those things done so that you don't have to wait till later because um you know all so many different things can happen when you're pregnant and that was one of the things that i did not expect to happen was getting a root canal and it, it really did kind of freak me out it scared me just a little bit um i don't want to live in fear but at the same time i was just like a root canal like who gets a root canal when they're pregnant um but it happens and it is something that is common um so that was something that I had a conversation with my doctor about and we were all set we were clear to go um i think i called her a little bit too many times just to double check because i just needed to be sure 
Um, but yeah, so definitely <laughs> for pregnancy symptoms and changes in my body, that was one of the major things. So for this pregnancy, I'm just definitely doing a lot more paying attention to me, to mom, because we may not do that often. So I definitely want to tell moms out there for any tips or anything that I can give. Y'all pay attention to you a little bit in the pregnancy. A lot of it. It's very important. It's very essential um, because, you know, the baby is going to do their thing up in there and they're going to cook, they're going to bake um, and they're going to be, you know, good. But it really is up to us to make sure that we're maintaining our emotional health, our physical health and our well-being overall. Uh, whether you're a working mom, stay at home, entrepreneur, wherever your role is in life um, or you balancing it all. OK, um, it just really is essential to just take care of you and your body. So that is something that I am really planning to do in this pregnancy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video with my pregnancy announcement and um, all of the information that I've given you for this second time around. Definitely stay tuned for more videos because I have some more things coming up. The next video um, you will see coming is our gender reveal. And I'm really excited to share with you guys gender reveal. Um, and that will be where, you, where we're going to announce the gender of the baby so stay tuned and definitely subscribe if you like today's video if it touched you and you're like you know what i could vibe with this channel and you want to come back for more stay tuned all right thank you guys for tuning in bye